Today we are flowing through a series of back bends and fluid transitions as we challenge our balance, strength, flexibility, and overall body control with plenty of crow poses, a healthy dose of splits, king dancer, and wheel and side plank variations. And if you're familiar with my approach, you know that we will be infusing our practice with the flavor of classical ballet technique, evoking the effortless grace found in the strength of a dancer's gestures, all the while remaining patient and compassionate with ourselves while we take the messy steps necessary for real growth and true mastery. So if you are ready to get your blood pumping and to take your practice to the next level, then let's get started. Starting our practice today by coming to the top of the mat, perhaps setting a couple of blocks to the side, lengthening through the crown of the head and rolling the shoulders down away from the ears. As you establish your breath, we're coming up onto our toes on an inhale, exhaling through the nose, bringing the heels back down to the floor. And we're tensing up all of the muscles in our body, clenching our fists. And as you exhale, releasing all of the tension in your body. Breathing deeply in and out through the nose, filling up the belly, and releasing any energy that no longer serves you. On an inhale, reaching tall, and exhaling, taking a stretch over to the right, rooting the left heel into the earth. On an inhale, coming back to center and then stretching over to the left, clasping the right wrist with the left hand and rooting the right heel into the earth. Coming back to center on an inhale and as you exhale, forward fold, taking a nice deep bend in the knees and decompressing the vertebrae. Coming into a ragdoll pose, slowly waking up the body. And switching opposite hands with opposite elbows. Bringing some more length to the backs of the legs. And on your next inhale, taking a twist to the right, unfolding right hand comes toward the sky, looking up toward the hand if possible, opening that right shoulder and keeping it down away from the ear. Exhaling, hand comes back to center, flat back, looking forward. And as you exhale, we're twisting to the left, Unfurling the left hand opens toward the sky, opening that left shoulder as much as possible. And on an exhale, coming back to center, forward fold and on an inhale, reaching forward. Exhaling, forward fold. And as you find your own rhythm with the breath, we're waving the back forward, back into a flat back and coming onto our toes. Exhaling, nose to your shins. Once more, inhaling, flat back, coming onto the toes, fingertips on the floor and exhaling, waving back down to a forward fold. Lengthening the spine and bringing more space in between each vertebrae with each wave forward. Exhaling, coming to a forward fold. And on the next breath, we're stepping back into a downward facing dog, continuing to wake up the legs by walking out the dog, bringing each heel up off the mat and bending each knee sequentially, going at your own pace and letting your movement mirror your breath.
Taking a deep inhale and as you exhale, we're waving forward, coming into a spinal roll, rounding the top of the spine, coming almost into a plank, and as you exhale, arching the spine, coming back into a downward facing dog, bringing the heels back to the mat, looking toward the belly button, rounding the top of the spine, coming up on the toes as you shift forward, almost into a plank, arching back into downward facing dog, And now going the opposite direction, arching forward on an inhale, almost coming into a plank, rising up on the toes while you round the back, exhaling back into downward facing dog, heels come toward the floor. On the next inhale, we're extending, right leg comes to the sky, and we're extending through a developé by pointing the right foot towards the ankle, drawing it up the left leg toward the knee, and then extending into second position, straightening the right knee and keeping the right toes pointed, then playing around with the pose by squaring your hips back toward the mat, feeling the stretch, and then opening the hips again. allowing the right foot to slowly find the floor behind you, bending perhaps the left and the right knee at the same time as you find your pose, then strengthening through the hips, arching the back and finding wild thing, then sequentially replacing the right hand, coming back into three-legged dog, finding a full extension by straightening the right knee, keeping the right toes pointed, and then flowing into a figure four, unwinding that back bend by placing the right hip on the floor, grazing the floor behind you with the left fingertips as you look over the left shoulder, and then unwinding, coming back into your developé. First a passe, pointing the right toes toward the left knee, and then slowly extending into second position. Once again, squaring the hips toward the mat, and then bending the right knee, bringing it in toward the chest and coming into a lunge. On the next breath, extending the right hand toward the sky and coming into a twist. Deep inhale and as you exhale, replacing the right hand to frame out the right foot. And we're coming into a half splits by bringing the left knee onto the floor and folding forward. Keeping the toes flexed, bending the knee as much as you need to at first. And then as you find a deeper fold, pointing the toes and feeling the stretch with a different foot position. On an inhale, continuing to wave the spine forward and exhaling, bringing your nose back to your leg. Keeping the toes pointed and feeling a deeper stretch in the back of the right leg every time you fold forward, bringing a little more length in between each vertebrae. On the next breath, shifting the hips forward, bringing the right knee over the right ankle, Coming into a crescent lunge back bend. On the next breath, bringing the left knee off the floor, coming back into a twisted lunge by reaching toward the sky with the right hand and looking up. And then bringing right hand back toward the floor and with a controlled and fluid motion, extending the right leg toward the sky through a developé, squaring the hips back to the mat and then coming into your three-legged chaturanga, inhaling upward facing dog, exhale downward facing dog, rolling over the tops of the toes if that's within your practice today. And then on an inhale, flowing right back into three-legged dog, right foot toward the sky. And as we transition onto the other side, we're bringing the right knee in toward the chest and shifting into skandhasana, a side lunge on the right, bending the right knee deeply and bringing the hips toward the floor, keeping the left toes pointed and opening the shoulders by sweeping the left hand high and wide toward the ceiling and then clasping left and right hands behind the back, taking a breath, flexing the foot, 
and then releasing, pointing the toes, reaching the left hand back toward the sky and then shifting toward the left, coming into Skandasana on the other side, right arm sweeps toward the sky, left and right hand meet behind the back, opening the right shoulder with every breath, keeping the right toes pointed, then flexing and pointing the foot back and forth. and then releasing right hand comes to frame out the right foot, and we're opening into a twisted lunge on the left, floating the left hand toward the sky, looking up toward the left, and then on an exhale, replacing the left hand on the floor, extending left foot toward the sky in your three-legged dog, Full extension, straightening the knee, and then coming into three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward-facing dog. Exhale, downward-facing dog. Inhale, looking forward, and then hopping to the top of the mat. Inhaling, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sitting deep into chair pose. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, standing tall, reaching hands to the sky. Taking a slight back bend and then exhale, hands come to heart center. Inhale, reaching tall and exhale, swan dive forward, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back, looking forward, exhaling, forward fold. Planting the hands onto the mat and then floating back into Chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog, and as you exhale, rolling over the toes into downward facing dog. On an inhale, coming into a developé three-legged dog on the left side. Left toes, sweep along the right leg, up the ankle, to the knee, and then into second position with the extension, keeping the toes pointed. Then bending the left knee, slowly opening the hips and feeling the stretch in the back. Very sequentially, coming into your wild thing, letting the left foot find the floor behind you, then arching the back, pushing the hips forward, and sweeping the left hand back and around. Feeling the drama of that big hand sweep as you find a rhythm and a flow, allowing the momentum of the hand to guide you back into three-legged dog, and flowing right into your figure four in one sequential gesture. Left ankle crosses over the right knee, looking behind you over the right shoulder as you graze the floor with the right fingertips, and in one gesture coming back into three-legged dog, Left foot extends toward the sky, toes pointed, knee straight, really feeling into a full extension here in the hips and the legs. Taking a big inhale, and as you exhale, knee comes into the chest, and we're coming back into our twisted lunge, planting the left heel in between the hands, looking toward the sky as the left hand reaches up. Deep inhale through the nose, and as you exhale, returning the hand to the floor to frame out the left foot. This time shifting onto that bent right knee and coming into a half split, bringing the nose closer to either the shin or the knee. Flexing and pointing the foot. Feeling the difference in the stretch you get by pointing and flexing the foot. Looking forward on an inhale as you lengthen the spine. And then as you exhale, folding forward, perhaps a little more deeply. Once more, inhaling forward, 
exhaling forward fold. Pointing and flexing the foot one more time before you shift your hips forward, bringing the left knee over the left ankle and coming into a crescent back bend. Shining the chest toward the ceiling and bringing most of the bend in your back into the upper portion of your spine, lifting up through the chest. On the next breath, flowing right into a twisted side lunge, planting the right heel of the hand next to the left foot, letting the left hand float toward the sky as you look up. Inhaling and as you exhale, replacing the left hand to frame out the left foot and then coming into a develope three-legged dog, left toes pointed toward the inside of the right knee and extending into second position before squaring the hips back to the top of the mat and coming into three-legged chaturanga, floating toward the floor, gently on the exhale and inhaling upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Resetting in downward facing dog, and then we're flowing right back into our developé, extending left leg toward the sky through your passe. And then in the next gesture, coming into skandasana, planting the left heel of the foot at the top of the mat and bringing the hands to heart center. pointing the right toes, and then shifting sequentially over to the right side, pointing the left toes, bringing hands to heart center, shoulders rolled down, away from the ears, strong posture. And shifting the hips toward the front of the mat, flowing right into that twisted lunge on the right side, right hand floats toward the sky. On the next breath, replacing the right hand on the floor, and coming into a double up on the right side, pointing the right toes, extending the right leg, and on the next breath, exhaling, coming into three-legged chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, rolling over the toes into downward facing dog. Inhale, looking forward, and on an exhale, floating to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back, looking forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flowing right into chair pose, sitting deeply, finding your alignment, shoulders down away from the ears, strong upper back. Exhaling, deep forward fold. On the next breath, inhaling, root to rise, standing tall, finding a confident posture, exhaling, hands to heart center. And inhaling, reaching tall, slight back bend before you exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, flat back, extend the spine and look forward. Exhale, forward fold. We're coming into a crow pose here, nestling the knees into the triceps and finding the balance, floating the toes off of the floor, tucking the heels closer into the body. Taking a few solid breaths here, finding the balance, and then we're floating the left leg back, keeping the right toes pointed off the floor, shifting onto the side of the left foot into a side plank holding onto the instep of the right foot or the right heel, and slowly extending the right leg toward the sky, straightening the right knee. Taking a deep inhale through the nose, stabilizing yourself with your breath, and then finding the floor behind you with the right foot, flowing through wild thing. And then if this is within your practice and you're ready for this transition, we're coming into wheel pose by strengthening through the core and the lower body, giving yourself that stability in the hip flexors, the glutes, and the quadriceps as you reposition your shoulders, pushing the hips forward, and then transferring your weight to find yourself in a wheel pose, hands on the floor behind you. And you're welcome to stay in this version of a wheel pose, or you can step your feet out to the top of the mat, straightening the knees, pushing the chest forward, and opening the shoulders a little bit more deeply, 
getting a nice bend in the upper portion of the back. Taking a few breaths here. And on the next breath, we're turning toward the right, shifting back into our three-legged dog, pointing the right foot toward the sky, pointing the toes, straightening the right knee. Deep inhale, and as you exhale, bending the right knee in toward the chest, coming into a figure four by crossing the right ankle over the left knee. Floating the right hip toward the floor and sitting back as you look over the left shoulder, left fingertips graze the floor behind you, and then replacing the left hand and coming into your passe développé into second position, finding three-legged dog, and then in a fluid motion, bringing the right knee back in toward the chest, rising up into warrior one on an inhale. On the exhale, flowing right into warrior two, inviting you to point the palms of your hand toward the ceiling, giving you the extra benefit of the improved posture as you roll your shoulders down away from the ears, taking a nice wide stance. And on the next inhale, shifting into a triangle pose by reaching toward the right, hips shift toward the left, left hand floats toward the sky. And of course, you are welcome to use your block here for a little bit more support. On the next breath, shifting into a revolved triangle, bringing the left hand on the inside of the right foot and extending the right hand toward the sky. Keeping the left heel of the foot firmly planted on the mat. Exhaling, returning the right hand to frame out the right foot and then floating into half moon. Floating the left foot and the left hand toward the sky together. And if you'd like to try it, you're welcome to bend the left knee and allow your left foot to find the left hand. Opening a little bit more deeply through the hips. Finding the balance. And on the next breath, returning the left foot to the mat and standing tall, crown lengthens toward the ceiling. We're coming into King Dancer, Natarajasana. The key here is to find your focal point, stabilizing and strengthening through the supporting right leg, gripping the floor with the right toes, and you're welcome to come into King Dancer by holding the left foot with the left hand and pointing the right hand in front of you. Or if you're ready for the challenge, go ahead and flip your grip, holding the left foot with both hands. This transition is very individual for each unique person and their body type and their skill level. So take your time to figure this out and focus on stabilizing through the supporting leg as you find the balance And if you're ready for the challenge, we're finding eagle pose without letting the left foot touch the floor. Left leg over, left arm under, elbows parallel to the shoulders. And wobbling is totally okay. And as you release the pose, we're coming into reverse warrior, deep breath in through the nose, Exhaling, cartwheeling the hands to frame out the right foot and coming back into your three-legged dog through your développé, keeping the toes pointed and then squaring the hips to the mat and deep inhale as you exhale, coming into three-legged chaturanga, inhaling upward facing dog, exhaling downward facing dog. 
On the next inhale, coming back into three-legged dog on the right side, bringing the right leg into second position through a developé, keeping the toes pointed, straightening the right knee, and as you exhale, bending the right knee, floating into Skandasana on the right side. Left arm opens wide, clasping left and right hands behind the back, opening the left shoulder. and then shifting over to Skandasana on the left side. Right arm sweeps high and wide before you clasp left and right hand behind the back, opening the right shoulder. And coming into a twist on the left side, opening left hand toward the sky. On an exhale, coming into three-legged dog, left foot extends toward the sky. And as you exhale, a controlled three-legged chaturanga floating towards the floor. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhaling, rolling over the toes into downward facing dog. Inhale, coming up onto the toes and then floating to the top of the mat. Inhale, flat back looking forward. Exhale, deep forward fold. Inhale, waving forward, flat back. Exhaling, forward fold. And on an inhale, waving the back into a chair pose. Biceps next to the ears. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, waving the spine forward. Exhaling, forward fold. Inhaling, standing tall, rolling one vertebrae at a time to the top. Reaching high and then bringing hands to heart center. All right, we're moving on to the next side. I believe in you. You got this. So a nice, big, confident inhale, reaching tall, slight back bend, and a deep swan dive forward. Nose to your shins, and then inhale, flat back, waving forward. Exhale, forward fold. And if you're ready for this challenge, we're coming into a crow pose, nestling the knees into the triceps and floating the toes slowly off of the floor. And after a few solid breaths here, we're floating the right leg back, shifting onto the side of the right foot in a side plank and extending the left leg toward the sky without letting the left foot touch the ground. And maybe you're having a really solid day with your balance and your body control. But even as an advanced yogi, sometimes we have wobbly days. So if for some reason you fall out of this, just find your way back into it. Don't worry about it too much. Remembering that the stronger your breath is, the stronger you will feel. And if you're ready for this challenge and it's within your practice, then we're taking the full journey by coming into Wild Thing, finding the floor behind you with the left foot, briefly arching the back, and strengthening through the core and the lower abs, the glutes, the hamstrings, and all of the lower body as you find your wheel pose, slowly flipping your grip so that you can find the floor behind you at your own pace. And if you're ready for the challenge, we're extending the right leg toward the sky, And after several controlled breaths here, switching sides, bringing the left leg toward the sky. And as you prepare to make your way back into three-legged dog, very, very slowly and gently, turning back towards the right and preparing to bring your left foot back towards the ceiling. Taking a full extension with that left knee, and then we're wrapping the left ankle over the right knee, coming into a figure four and sitting back on the left hip, twisting to look over the right shoulder, grazing the right fingers on the floor behind you. And then in one smooth gesture, replacing the right hand on the mat, extending the left leg toward the sky in a three-legged dog, passe, développé, into second position, pointing the toes. Taking a big inhale through the nose and as you exhale, planting the left foot on the mat in between the hands and rising up into warrior one. Exhaling, opening into warrior two. 
pointing the palms of the hands toward the sky. Just this little gesture of choosing to point your palms toward the sky in a pose like Warrior Two will really improve your posture in a beautiful way and follow you throughout the rest of your day outside of your practice. Reaching forward into Triangle Pose. Hips float to the right, left hand floats to the left. Raising the right hand toward the sky. And after a few breaths here, we're coming into a revolve triangle, placing the right hand on the inside of the right foot on the mat, raising the left hand toward the sky, keeping that right heel firmly planted on the mat. And on the next breath, flying into half moon. And if you'd like to give it a shot, begin finding the right foot with the right hand. Take your time, allow your brain to make that connection. Press into the hand with the top of the foot and fully extend even more into the hips if you're ready for this. And after a breath or two here, we're releasing the right foot back to the floor and standing tall, slowly raising the crown toward the sky. Preparing now for King Dancer Natarajasana, finding your anchor strong through the left supporting leg, finding a sense of solidarity with the left leg before you extend the right leg behind you. And you can either leave the left arm in front of you, or if you're ready for the full rotation, you can hold on to the back of the right foot with both the left and the right hand. Maintaining your balance as long as you can and then releasing the right leg, remaining actively engaged with the quadriceps on the right side, holding the balance, and then either coming back into a standing position or you can try coming right into eagle pose without letting the right foot touch the floor. Right leg over, right arm under, keeping the elbows parallel to the floor, sinking as deeply as you can into this pose while keeping the shoulders down away from the ears. and releasing your eagle pose, perhaps shaking out your legs a little bit here, and then stepping back into reverse warrior with the right leg behind you. Left arm sweeps back, opening up the left side body and then exhaling, cartwheeling the hands to frame out the left foot. Left hand floats toward the sky, looking up in a twisted lunge, and then coming back into your three-legged dog. In a devil -a extending the left leg toward the sky and exhaling into a three-legged chaturanga. Slow, controlled gestures. You're doing an excellent job. Inhaling. Right leg extends toward the ceiling in a three-legged dog. Exhaling, making our transition through Skandasana. Side lunge, bringing the left heel to the top of the mat, and hands come to heart center, pressing the left elbow to the inside of the left knee. And then shifting through center, coming to Skandasana on the right side. Right elbow presses into the right knee. Strong posture here, pointing the left toes and then shifting into a lunge on the right side. Left hand comes to the inside of the right foot, looking toward the sky with the right hand. And then framing out the right foot with both hands once more, extending into a three-legged dog through your devil pay, pointed toes. Inhale, and as you exhale, three-legged chaturanga. Inhaling, upward-facing dog. Exhale, rolling over the toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, and as you exhale, coming up on the toes and then floating to the top of the mat. And then sitting back and making your way into Baddha Konasana, butterfly pose. Sitting tall and bringing your awareness right back to the breath from wherever it has wandered off to. Inhale, and as you exhale, folding forward, either bringing the hands out in front of you or going ahead and holding on to the feet. And if you made it this far, then mad props to you.
inhaling, crown lengthens toward the ceiling, and we're shifting into a side stretch here. So bringing the right knee out to the side of the mat, the right heel in toward the groin, and flexing the left foot, extending the right arm out to the side, and then folding forward toward the left foot. and then pointing the left foot, feeling a different stretch. Coming back up to a seated position, reaching tall, hands in a fifth position. And folding forward once more over the left leg. Flexing the foot. Inhaling, coming back to a seated position, shifting over to the other side, bringing the left foot into the inside of the right leg, flexing the right foot, reaching tall and then folding forward. Bringing your awareness right back to your breath, breathing in and out through the nose, returning the entire nervous system back to homeostasis. Flexing and pointing the right foot, feeling a different stretch along the back side of the right leg. And when you're ready, releasing this pose, coming into a straddle position, and at your own pace, reaching the hands forward and folding towards the floor, settling in for the next minute, breathing deeply into this stretch. And if it's within your practice, coming back up to a seated position and then shifting into the splits on the left side, rotating the hips, bringing the right knee to the mat and pointing the left toes, perhaps taking a twist to the left and reaching for the right leg with the left hand, squaring your hips toward the front of the mat as much as possible. Releasing the twist, inhaling tall and then folding forward over the left leg. Inhaling, coming back to a seated position. If it's within your practice, once again, and you feel comfortable doing this, then go ahead and shift your hips all the way over to the right side in a splits position and bringing that left knee toward the floor. Taking a twist toward the right, perhaps connecting right hand with the left leg. Looking over the right shoulder and then releasing the twist and lengthening the spine tall, crown toward the ceiling, before exhaling, folding forward over that right leg. On the next breath, coming back into a center split, folding forward just slightly. And then coming back to the left side before releasing the right leg, bringing both feet out in front of you, pointing the toes, Reaching tall, inhaling, and as you exhale, folding forward. Breathing in and out through the nose and bringing the awareness right back to the breath from wherever it has wandered. And releasing your forward fold, making your way onto your back. Coming into a plow pose, bringing the feet behind you. Chin comes into the chest, lengthening the back of the neck. Pressing into the floor with the palms of the hands. 
bringing the awareness right back to the breath. And then we're shifting into a shoulder stand. Go ahead and support the hips, bringing the elbows underneath you. And on an exhale, when you're ready, slowly releasing the feet to the floor behind you. And then slowly coming out of the pose by bringing the hips down to the mat, hugging the knees into the chest and giving your lower back a little massage. And we're coming into a supine twist. So stretching out the left leg in front of you, bending the right knee, right arm reaches out to the side and you're twisting over to the left, looking over the right shoulder, keeping the right shoulder firmly pressed against the ground as much as you can. Coming back to center on an inhale, and as you exhale, twisting over to the right, bending the left knee, stretching the right leg out long, looking out over the left shoulder, keeping that left shoulder pressed against the mat, breathing into this twist. Releasing, hugging the knees into the chest one more time. And when you're ready, we're finding Shavasana, stretching the legs out long and turning the palms of the hands upward, letting the eyes close. As we begin to focus on the way that the breath is traveling in and out through the nose, not trying to control it or force it, just watching the way the body naturally breathes itself becoming intimately aware of the breath, getting closer and closer to your awareness of your breath as it travels in and out through the nose, filling up the lungs, feeling your belly rise, your chest rise, and as you exhale, releasing any stagnant energy that no longer serves you. And if you'll join me, we're taking the journey of Shiva Yatra, moving with our awareness from the tips of our toes, across the tops of our feet, up the shins, to the kneecaps, and moving with the light of your awareness across the quadriceps, to the hips, taking your awareness to the solar plexus, And as this light saturates your body, you begin to move up to the chest, to the sternum, spreading out to your shoulders, watching the light of your awareness traveling down your arms now. This light finds your elbows, travels down to your wrists, and the light of your awareness now travels to the tip of each finger saturating each hand with light. Moving your awareness now to the throat, this energy, this light, saturates the head, moving up the face, moving up the lips, the teeth, the tongue, the roof of the mouth, becoming aware of the skin on your face, moving to your nose, to your eyes, and feeling your eyes sinking into the back of your head. Feeling all of the muscles in your face release and relax even more deeply. Feeling all of the muscles in your body unhugging the bones. Feeling yourself melting into the stability of the planet beneath you. Feeling completely at ease, completely safe nurtured, refreshed, renewed, bringing you back to the awareness of the wholeness that you are, the completeness that you have always been. 
with each breath refreshing your entire system. And when you are ready, very slowly, we're bringing ourselves back up to the surface level of physical reality, bringing life back to the fingers and the toes, slowly beginning to move the body over to the left side, coming into the fetal position, and at your own pace, whenever you feel ready to, slowly coming to a seated position by pushing into the floor with the right hand, with love, namaste. And if you're looking for a similar challenge, I invite you to give this ballet-inspired flow a try.